Hey there, are you looking for happiness and wealth and success? I've got the secret for you in this little handbook called the Navalmanac or the Almanac of Naval Ravikant. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lex, I welcome you to today's video talking about this awesome book that talks about creating wealth, finding happiness, and building your best judgment. Your own, not anyone else. Naval Ravikant is an angel investor, works in Silicon Valley. He's investing in companies like, you know, Airbnb, I think Uber, and uh, Stripe. I might be lying on that. I don't know. Anyways, he's got a great podcast. And you know, most of us are looking for wealth or freedom and how to be happy or how to be calm. And this guy's like a modern philosopher of sorts. And, well, this other guy, Eric Jongerson, Jongerson, I don't know if you pronounce that correctly, I'm sorry, Eric, has found that Naval's works, be it Twitter, be it blog posts, be it podcast, or simple phrases are truly useful to every single one of us. There are like maxims or aphorisms that we can perhaps use as guiding lights if we have the experience to keep handy principles that make better decisions in life. So first of all, there's this section about specific knowledge. Naval talks about how creating something worthy in our lives or wealth is about getting specific knowledge. That mix of things that we know that other people don't. You know, becoming the best at something and being unique because you are the only person that is best at being you. Working on those things that you truly love, which is the most difficult thing. Perhaps it'll take a decade or even more. But finding your passion, finding that thing that drives you and makes you inherently curious of sorts and just pursuing it, not basing your decisions off of what's the coolest thing or the most trending thing or the money because it might not be sustainable. You know, you have to mix up in there various things, perhaps your hobbies, yes, with other more technical stuff. And what you need to do is get out there and deliver to the market what they don't truly know how to do yet. And when you do this, you have to be doing it for the whole world. And this is using leverage. How? Perhaps the internet, using labor, using capital, or knowing how to code, delivering those products that need marginal replication costs. So that, that is what the internet is great for. Example, media, you know, making videos, teaching in YouTube, blogging, podcast, whatever. Great, great, great manner of scaling up your business and reaching a lot of people and productizing yourself because that's what it's about. You know, working on your brand, working on being yourself and being your, following your true nature out of this mix of genetics and experiences. You're to build something cool which is gonna be you you know you're building this career then you're gonna share it with the world and try to share the best work that you can and that is only achievable when you follow your desires your pursuits not not your desires because you know just don't follow like sex all the time or drugs <laughs> follow uh, the hard choices today that will have a compound interest in the future that's what it's about that's another maxim that Naval talks about make the hard choices now what is that eating healthy, perhaps not the greatest thing in the moment, great at a long time, uh, investing today and not having, you know, that extra money, eh, it might not be great, but in the long run, it might be awesome. Being ethical and, you know, treating relationships as long-term relationships and taking care of them and serving and understanding and listening, it takes maintenance. You know, it's it's might be more effective in the short term to just uh, squeeze every single drop of money that you can out of your customers or your clients and then just buck them. But in the long term, that's not going to serve you. You know, you want to become that person that is effective, ethical, low risk, and is trustworthy. That's what you want. Or at least I want. Of course, you need to develop your own identity and ideal person that you want to become and you want to attract. Because at the end, you're going to attract the persons that are light. So what kind of person do you want to be? Make the hard choices now. Go to the gym. Lift. Feel that pain. Uh. Another maxim from Naval. A loving home. A fit body. And what was that? Wealth, I believe. I don't know. They all take work. They can't be earned. You know, the best things in life perhaps can be bought. You need to work on them. They need work. A fit body, a loving family, a calm mind. You need to work on them every day and you might not see instant results. So getting to that specific knowledge, productize yourself, find your own path, and trust the uncertainty, man. You will find the answer. Just keep looking. Second of all, we've got this that goes on into building judgment. What is building judgment? All right. Reading philosophy. That is a way that Naval recommends. You know, what are the things, the principles that you live by? Maybe some heuristics, maxims that help you make better decisions. What does the ideal man look to you? 
What do you value? Take a moment and step back and work on the values that will guide your life. What is it? It might be honesty. It might be courage, self-control, discipline, whatever it is. Set it out and work it out for yourself. You need to work as an individual and come to your own conclusions because at the end, every advisor or everything that we get has to be filtered by our own consciousness, our own mind, if you will. We will need experience, which will be the thing that links the words or the to our actual reality and that can only be done out of trial and error of course I believe theory and experience can be combined of sorts but we won't truly understand it until we have acted and tried it out for ourselves so build that own judgment work as an work as an individual and look for your truth look for those innovative ways of looking at the world of solving problems of resolution whatever it is that is building your own judgment deciding what is good or bad out of your own sense and this is truly hard i see myself just you know when i'm in a group i try to go for consensus and when i'm a, when i'm alone i can reflect i can improve myself i can try to you know say okay this was bad or this wasn't the way i wanted to act i can improve on this it just seems easier you know we are creatures of environment and well the herd mentality is a really strong pull at least for myself <laughs> and work on those basics. You can learn persuasion, you can learn math, you can learn coding, maybe you can learn those things that help you pound whatever it is that you're getting out of and just investing in yourself. Read a lot. I think that's an advice that is just basic. Read a fucking lot and what you want. You're gonna keep on filtering out things until you get perhaps to more abstract things or more interesting books. Who knows? Read out of your own curiosity and perhaps knowing that there is no ideal human being, there's no normal human being. You are your own. Work with your intuition. That helps. And third of all, learning hat. I think this is extremely powerful because our desires, what we want out of life is like some sort of of discrepancy between reality and what could be. We're looking to the future and seeing, okay, this is what I want and this is what it's like today. And this tension is what causes suffering. I don't have this, I need it, or I want it. How can I get to that place? And until we get that, we have made some sort of commitment to suffer. And it's a, it might be a choice, actually, you know? We could perhaps relinquish or drop out of this race by becoming a monk, having no desires at all. Maybe that's not your gig. So you have to choose carefully your desires. You know, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm not rich. I wouldn't know people say that being rich uh, doesn't make you happy after a certain point. Material things don't make you happy. External things, I do see that as a sort of viable thing or that makes a lot of sense. External things will never, never fill an inner void. So what we have to do is work on our inner self. Know that when we desire something, we have made this commitment to crave and suffer. Is it worth it? Perhaps, you know, maybe you want wealth, you want to build it. Okay, commit to one or two things that are extremely, extremely worth your time because you're not going to be happy or calm until you get them so choose them wisely know which things can be a decoy and false idols money women drugs sex is that what will make you happy who knows people say they don't i don't believe they do work on them and meditate know that every thought is simply just like this sub operating system on a core kernel running system that is awareness you know all these things they are just appearing we don't have to identify with them we can reframe things and see them differently and it will alter our emotions and we can perhaps reinforce certain patterns of thought and drop others you know we can begin again and choose to act in a different manner than we have in the past and that is powerful we can never begin again i mean we can never go back in time and change you know our current state but we can change right now to change our future that is kind of paradoxical you know because we're working towards the future and in some manner so we're choosing to be unhappy and we're making the hard choices today we're sacrificing the future for the present or the present for the future what does that all mean i don't know i'm still figuring that out but it does make a lot of sense that some hard choices today will make your life easier in the long run. You know, exercising, eating healthier, uh, saving up, working on those relationships, getting that work in instead of watching Netflix or binging it, uh, on video games, which I have done all of those. I still do, but I try to 
get to the question, what is essential for me? What do I want to do? And what kind of person do I want to become? And for me, it's important to become a person that can create wealth and maintain it to have freedom, you know, to have the, the freedom of doing what I want whenever I want, which I've been extremely fortunate to have up until now. And I want to do the work that I love, you know, and that I think I'm good at. And it comes with a price, but I'm willing to pay that. I hope that I, you know, get lucky enough to do what I love, to do what I want to do. But I'm going to keep working on that. I'm going to keep reading, trying to improve myself every day, becoming a better version of a man. Because I think that's important, you know, to look up and see, okay, what if, what if I could become that? And what if I could improve? Paradoxical, yes, maybe I'm choosing suffering. Who knows? But this handbook... It's extremely practical, small, got a lot of distilled wisdom, practical. You can just open it up on any page and maybe you'll get something out of it. I would give it a 8.5 and on the successful scale. Yes, on the success scale, it's amazing. I'm going to reread it. I'm going to reread it at some point and I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you like this video. Subscribe if you like what you see. I'm going to be learning a lot here and sharing with you guys. So hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.